acids and bases. First, let's learn what are they. We know what are compounds. Compounds are different substances on our planet. There are many compounds on our Earth. We can split compounds into three types. Acids, bases, and salts. Today, we're going to learn about acids and bases. Let's learn what are they. First, let's take acids. Acids are the substances that produce H plus ions in water. Um, let me tell you an example. HCl, hydrochloric acid. We know that this is an acid. When it's mixed with water, the HCl splits into an H plus ion and a Cl minus ion. With this, we can know that it is an acid since it produces H plus ions. Now let's see what are the characteristics of acids. First of all, acids are sour in taste. This means when we keep it in our mouth, we can feel the sour of the acid. Next, acids are corrosive in nature. This means that when it hits our skin, it is very harmful to us and it is corrosive. The word acid comes from the Latin word acere, which means sour in taste. That's why acids got their name like that. Acids have many uses. Let's see. First, acids are used for batteries, such as lead acid batteries and etc. They're also used for cleaning purposes. Acids are also used for neutralizing base. Um, we'll learn about that later. Now, let's see about bases. Bases are the compounds which produce OH- ions in water. Let's see an example. NaOH, sodium hydroxide, or caustic soda. When put into water, this creates a Na plus ion and an OH minus ion. So we can conclude that it is a base. Let's see the characteristics of base. Bases are corrosive in uh, nature just like acids. Bases are bitter in taste. So when we put it in our mouth, bases taste bitter. It is also soapy to touch. Bases are soapy to touch. Um, let's see the uses of bases. First, they are used in batteries just like acids. They are also used for various cosmetics such as shampoos, soaps, window cleaners, and etc. It is also used to neutralize acids. Now let's see what I mean by neutralize acids and bases. We know that stings of ants and bees contain acids. So when they sting us, we have acid in our skin. This acid, as we know, is very corrosive and dangerous to our skin. So when we apply baking soda, a base, this neutralizes the acid and, and gives no harm to us. Yes, guys, when you, when you combine an acid, which is corrosive in nature, and a base, which is also cor corrosive in nature, it neutralizes each other and nothing happens. In the opposite side, when a wasp stings you, you should not add baking powder. Because when a wasp stings, it does not have an acid in it. Instead, it has basic solution in it. So, we should use mild acids such as vinegar to neutralize the wasp stings. Now, you might have a question. There are many acids and bases in the world. How do we differentiate between acids and bases? That's why there are substances known as indicators. What are indicators? Indicators are the substances that change color corresponding whether they are... Let's see some examples. There are many natural indicators such as turmeric, 
China, Rose, and etc. There are also synthetic or laboratory indicators such as methyl orange and phenolphthalein. All of them change to different colors when exposed to an acid or a base. The commonly known indicator is known as litmus paper. It is a certain type of paper that is obtained from a plant called lichens. These paper are highly reactive to acids and bases. Let us see how it reacts. When a blue litmus paper is reacting with an acid, it changes its color to red. Just like that, when a red litmus paper is reacting with a base, it turns to blue. So we can remember that acids are red and bases turn the litmus paper blue. That's all for today's video, guys. For, until the next video, stay tuned. Until then, bye-bye.